Hey y'all, welcome back to MK3 Firearms. Today, we're checking out two different offerings of high power. Now, becoming more popular these days, we're getting customers sending in multiples, which this gentleman did, and he wanted one that was gonna be kept a little more classic, but basically a restro or restoration. And then, of course, one a little more custom R style. So we'll go through them. Uh, this first one was a little more beat up. Um, so, of course, he kind of kept this more of the factory look. Um, you know, a little more mil spec, if you will, which makes sense rather than a full custom. Uh, but what we did is we put the uh, cylinder and slide trigger in there. We did a two-stage trigger job. We found some uh, new uh, Browning High Power factory grips. We put some nicer Browning factory high power uh, sights on there. Um, other than the trigger job, this is pretty much a factory gun, just Cerakoted graphite black. And of course, we'll do our little, or show our little representation for the trigger job. This is a two-stage, so there is some take up. Nice crisp break. Short reset, break. If you ride the reset, I mean, it essentially becomes a single stage. If you ride the reset, if not, it's gonna move more forward and you'll have that slide take up and then you'll have your break again. That's that. This other one was the better of the two as far as our condition went. So this one is full custom. It's got sniper gray Cerakote with graphite black controls, Garthway trigger, Belgium RDIH uh, slide release. Um, the grips are VZ Pro Slims. This one's got a beveled magwell. What else we got on here? Crown barrel at 11 degrees. Trigicon HD yellow front or yellow front sight. And of course, uh, the CZ uh, 1911 Dan Wesson rear. This one also has the cylinder and slide. Uh, uh, what is this one called? The no bite hammer, the commander, and it has the mated um, sear. This one, by the way, does have the sear. We do require that to do our two stage trigger job, but just internal. This one actually has all the goods, bells and whistles on the outside. So here's your two stage little take up there as you see just very slight there's your brake if you ride the reset it becomes a single stage of course like any other <laughs> trigger is uh, when you ride the reset but there's just a little bit of take up and then of course there's your brake so yeah pretty cool you know send them in if you want to keep one a little more classic we can do that and then of course you know something a little more custom with some extra custom parts a little new age a little old school pretty cool I think anyways y'all as always you got any questions comments concerns leave them and you know we'll answer accordingly until next time.